Hey plant gang, excited to show you Hydrangea corsifolia. This is a native plant to East Tennessee and we find it uh, in particular on the edges of uh, shady woodlands uh, where it grows natively. Uh, I've seen it in particular in Norris, Tennessee, if you've ever in that region. Uh, but I'm standing in front of a bush in, in full glory here. This is a deciduous shrub. Uh, and why is it called Hydrangea corsifolia? Where the genus of oaks is Corcus. And so Corsifolia it means the foliage looks like an oak's foliage. And that's what we have here is the foliage of Hydrangea Corsifolia. Uh, and it is not only uh, looks like an oak, but it's also quite coarse as well. Uh, and you can see some a variety in different sizes. I'm actually standing in front of a cultivar called Munchkin, which is kind of a smaller cultivar. And you can see that in comparatively, uh, the leaves are quite different in size on these different cultivars. Uh, but I want to show you some blooms as really here at, as you go kind of in the beginning of June, all the way through June, you're going to see Hydrangea corsifolia in full bloom. And holy moly, there's a huge variety of cultivars and blooms out here. And typically, look at the size of that, quite, quite impressive. Uh, in whites and pinks and blushes of pinks, even ones that fade to a chartreuse, this would be considered kind of a double blooming one. And you can kind of see this one, this one is kind of open and a little bit more uh, maybe delicate in nature, but still has a double bloom. And so you can be looking out for different cultivars really based on uh, what you want in the home landscape. Some of the cultivars are droopy, they droop down. Some of them are quite upright. And so you wanna make sure that you know uh, which one you choose before you actually choose it. But a great plant. Uh, in the shade, it tends to be quite large and lanky. Uh, in the sun, with adequate moisture, it'll be a little bit stockier. And so that maybe is a condition that you want to look at before placing a, this in the home landscape. I would say in full sun, they do need a little bit of supplemental moisture. A great texture uh, from my standpoint, but a great plant uh, to the, add to the home landscape. Uh, open, the actual, the true flowers are actually down inside of these. These are bracts, just kind of showy things uh, to bring insects over to the plant. Uh, but the true flowers are right here inside. Uh, and Hydrangea corsifolia is a great uh, attractor of native pollinators. And so that's something else uh, that you can add to the landscape. So native, attracts pollinators, great bloom in high summer. Uh, so a great plant to add to the landscape. Hydrangea corsifolia, oak leaf hydrangea. This is in a big group, a big family of hydrangeaceae. This one, you know, typically they get about five foot tall and can spread out five foot wide, uh, but you really need to know your cultivar's great red fall color, hardy from zones five through nine. And here's a landscape tip. Great coarse textured native that should be one of the first additions to a semi-shade situation.